Good evening everyone. Magandang gabi. I am John Paul Obilius de la Rosa, a Fulbright Foreign Language Teaching Assistant at Northern Illinois University. And I teach Tagalog or Filipino, one of the official languages in the Philippines at NIU. Here in this picture, you will see my FLTA colleagues from Southeast Asia, two from Indonesia, one from Myanmar or Burma, and one from Thailand. And we were very happy to share and to teach our languages to American students, especially at NIU. Tonight, we will all be revisiting the linguistic landscape of the Philippines through this presentation titled Sinusong Wika, Revisiting Major Philippine Languages. Sinusong Wika means mother language or mother tongue in English. My objectives for this presentation are the following. Number one, revisit the eight major Philippine languages. Number two, discuss some relevant efforts on the revitalization of Philippine languages. And number three, spread the message of positivity and a sense of community through a video presentation featuring different Philippine languages. Let's look at the linguistic landscape of the Philippines in brief. Aside from the 7,641 islands of the country, it is also blessed with over 180 living languages. Although it is known to many that the two official languages of the Philippines are Filipino and English, it is common to meet Filipinos who can speak at least three languages. In my case, my mother tongue is Kapampangan, but I can understand and speak Tagalog, Hiligaynon, and English. This makes the Philippines more linguistically diverse than at least 190 countries in the world. Alongside the existence of different languages in the Philippines are over 110 ethno-linguistic groups, making the country culturally rich as well. The major regional languages are Aklanon, Basian, Bicol, Cebuano, Chabacano, a Spanish-based Creole, Hiligaynon, Ibanag, Ilocano, Ilongo, Ivatan, Maranao, Tagalog, Kapampangan, Kinaraya, Waray, Maguindanao, Pangasinan, Sambal, Surigao, Non, Tausug, and Yakan. Some of these languages have been rigorous, rigorously studied, while others need further documentation. There are actually eight major languages in the Philippines. These are Tagalog, Bicol, Ilocano or Iloco, Pangasinan, Kapampangan, Hiligaynon, Waray, and Cebuano. What binds them together is that they are all categorized under Malayo-Polynesian language family subgroup of the Austronesian language family. This language subgroup also includes Bahasa Melayu in Malaysia, Bahasa Indonesia, Javanese and Sundanese languages in the Indonesian archipelago. Philippine languages also have traces of foreign languages such as Spanish and English respectively. This time, we will have our mini lesson on the eight major Philippine languages. I will be teaching you two important greetings translated in these mother tongues. We have good evening and thank you very much. Let us see what's common among these languages as we say these two phrases. Just a disclaimer, however, I am not an expert speaker or a fluent speaker of majority of these languages, but I asked help from relatives and friends to translate these phrases. So I think we will be good and we will learn as one. You can participate by repeating the phrases after I say them. So are we ready? I think we're ready. We shall start with Tagalog, the most spoken language in the Philippines. This language is spoken in the Luzon Island, including the island of Palawan in western Philippines. Bicol, on the other hand, is spoken in the Bicol Peninsula, including Catanduanes, Boreas Island, and Masbate. Now, let us greet one another in Tagalog and Bicol. In Tagalog, we say magandang gabi. In Bicol, we say marhay na banggit, for good evening. And then, we say maraming salamat. Salamat na marhay in Bicol for... Thank you very much. We now proceed to the other languages spoken in the Luzon Island. First is Ilocano or Iloco. It is considered as the third most spoken Philippine language in the, Cordill in the Cordilleras, Ilocos region, including La Union and other parts of Tarlac. Pangasinan, on the other hand, is spoken in southwestern La Union and the province of Pangasinan. How do we say good evening and thank you very much in Ilocano and Pangasinan? So, let's try. In Ilocano or Iloco, we say naimbag arabii. 
In Pangasinan, it's Masantosa Yalabi. Agyamanak is thank you very much in Ilocano, while in Pangasinan, it's Balbaleg Yasalamat. Now, Kapampangan is close to my heart because it is my mother tongue or home language. The language is spoken in central Luzon, such as in the provinces of Pampanga, Tarlac, Zambales, Bataan, Nueva Ecija, and Bulacan. In Kapampangan, how do we say good evening and thank you very much? You may repeat after me. So, we say good evening as Maya Pabengi and thank you very much, Dakala Salamat. In the Visayan region, we have the Hiligaynon or Ilongo and the Waray languages. Hiligaynon is spoken in the island of Panay in the Visayas, such as in the provinces of Iloilo, Aklan, Capiz, including the province of Negros Occidental. In the Sox region, region in Mindanao, Hiligaynon is also spoken. Waray is native to eastern Visayas, some parts of Masbate and Sorsogon. So let's have our speaking practice for Hiligaynon and Waray. How do we say good evening in Hiligaynon or Ilonggo? Maayong gabi. In Waray, maupay nga gabi. Thank you very much in Hiligaynon or Ilonggo is damo nga salamat. It's also the same in Waray. They also say damo nga salamat. Finally, we have the Cebuano language. It is the second most spoken language in the Philippines after Tagalog. It is spoken in the provinces of Cebu, Negros Oriental, Bohol, and other parts of Mindanao. Now, let us end this speaking lesson the Cebuano way. So in Cebuano, we say good evening as maayong gabi. And this one is very popular. Like when you say thank you very much in Cebuano, you say daghang salamat. I also want to highlight two of the relevant efforts in the revitalization of these Philippine languages. First is the implementation of MTBMLE or Mother Tongue Based Multilingual Education in basic education in the country. This forms part of Republic Act No. 10533, otherwise known as the Enhanced Basic Education Act of 2013 in the Philippines. This changed the course of education in the country. It covers kindergarten and 12 years of basic education with the addition of grades 11 and 12. MTBMLE is first language first, wherein students from kindergarten to grade 3 learn their mother tongues first until they transition to Filipino and later on to English. So why is this so? This was through the groundbreaking research conducted by Decker and Young of the Summer Institute of Linguistics in 2007. Based on the results, students would learn concepts in school better when they are taught first in their mother tongues. The experiment featured mother tongue instruction in Lubuagan in Kalinga in Northern Philippines. Children were taught to read in the local language first, and teachers taught key subjects such as mathematics in the local language as well. The researchers saw positive results in terms of educational outcomes after children were exposed to instruction using the local language. The MTBMLE is indeed a way to empower mother tongues in the Philippines. An effort to revitalize the many languages in the Philippines, particularly the dying ones, is through language planning and documentation. This has been done by many linguists and language scholars in the Philippines. The status of Manila Bay Chabacano as a language is an example of this language planning and documentation efforts. Another example are the many language documentation projects from De La Salle University or DLSU, through the headship of Dr. Shirley Dita, a known Filipino applied linguist. She, her team, her team, and DLSU doctoral students have been conducting studies to document different Philippine languages. The one that we have here is an attempt to digitize corpora of Philippine languages. As such, these efforts are helpful ways to prevent the death or extinction of any Philippine language, especially indigenous ones. Once any language is forgotten or not spoken anymore, the ethnicization may occur, where people start to depatronize their culture and sadly, they will undo traditional practices. 
That's why I agree to what Samuel Johnson, an English writer, said about the importance of language. And I quote, I am always sorry when any language is lost because languages are the pedigrees of nations. We should never lose our language because when we do, we lose our identity and our ancestry. Mahalin natin ang ating sariling wika, ang ating sinusong wika. Love thy mother tongue. Before I end this presentation, I would just like to share with you this experience of mine when I first came here to the United States. And I admit I was bringing with me this overwhelming sense of linguistic insecurity because when I speak in English, I know I have this thick Filipino accent. And one time I encountered this group of people here in the U.S. who made me a laughing stock because of my Filipino accent. But thanks to my students, thanks to people who are genuinely concerned because they made me realize that, hey, there's no inferior or superior language. And it's not a crime to have a foreign accent when you speak in English. It's not even a deficiency. It's not even a deviation from what is considered normal. And I would like to quote Dr. Matsuda and Miss Amy Chu when they said that to have a foreign accent is actually a sign of bravery. In connection to the preservation and revitalization of Philippine languages, I would like to, to tell that may we all be proud of our mother tongues, of our first languages, of our first cultures. Because without them, we will not be the person that we are today. And so wherever we are in the world, let us share that pride, let us preserve that pride that we have this beautiful Filipino culture in us. And with that, I end this presentation with maraming salamat po. Part of this presentation is viewing a video clip that would remind us of the beauty of Philippine languages and the spirit of community or what we call Bayanihan, Filipinos foster worldwide, especially during these trying times. I hope you would enjoy the video. Thank you very much again.